There are two smut diseases that we often see in corn. Both of these smut diseases are caused by fungi that produce massive amounts of sooty black spores. However, one of the diseases, common smut, is the much more common one of the two and is caused by a fungus that causes localized infections. This disease develops more commonly after some injury event or often infects through the silks in the ears. But it can infect any part of the plant, especially growing plant parts. And so people often recognize that particular disease because it might look like small mushrooms growing on the ears or the tassels or, or on the leaves or even on the roots or the stalks themselves. And eventually as those galls mature, they're going to be filled with those black sooty spores. Common smut is usually not an economic problem, especially in commercial field corn, and so there are usually no management recommendations. However, in the sweet corn production, it can be a problem, especially for fresh market sweet corn production, because the galls on the ears are very undesirable cosmetically. However, these galls are also edible and are a favored gourmet fungus for some cultures, especially in Mexico, and becoming more so here, where it's consumed and called huilocoche, or uh, mushrooms, or corn mushrooms, or truffles. And so many people are beginning to consume those. The other smut disease of corn is called head smut. And this is also caused by a fungus, but it behaves very differently. This fungus infects seedling corn plants, at least the roots of actively growing seedling corn plants. And so this fungus eventually grows systemically throughout those plants, but there's no evidence, no symptoms of infection until the corn plants produce either ears or tassels. And at that point, the fungus itself will begin to replace all of the vascular tissue in the ears and tassels, and eventually all of the kernels of those infected ears will be replaced with that fungus and so you'll have massive quantities of those black spores produced in the ears and it might also cause a bizarre growth of very strange structures uh, often green finger like structures that are the vascular tissue growing out of those ears management of head smut is very different and so once you see the disease itself it's too late but because this fungus infects the seedling plants, we can use seed treatment fungicides or in furrow fungicide treatments to manage this disease if it is an economic problem or selecting hybrids that have more tolerance to the disease. If you need more assistance or help making a diagnosis, differentiating maybe between common smut and head smut, contact your local university plant and pest diagnostic clinic for assistance or your local county extension office for more help.